Yo, how's it going to anybody listening to this? I'm just going to be going over a few things briefly. Talk about how my life's progressing. Talking about things that I've been up to, you know, just trying to keep the progress going. Keep updating myself, see how things are going. And yeah, so some things I've been focusing on mostly this month has pretty much just been gym and developing my website. So, you know, I'm just on a super high calorie diet. I go to the gym hard, I don't have any like specific routines that I follow, but I have like specific workouts, you know, that I do when I go and I pretty much do the same process and I've been seeing good progress, you know, I've been going to the gym for about three and a half to four months now, I had about a three week break though in between where I was on holiday overseas where I didn't really use, I didn't really use any weights or anything, so that was a big downside I saw like after I took just a few weeks off from the gym you see a massive drop in strength you know all this all this hard work and progress you make just like slips down the drain so I'd recommend if you're traveling try to organize a gym overseas when you're traveling that you can go to because man it sucks losing like literally I went for a few couple months and I almost I feel like I almost lost all the progress I'd made you know and that that sucked but I'm back, back higher than I was before, you know, you get, you get back into it after a couple of weeks, you know, it's not going to take you that, it doesn't, it doesn't set you back fully, but it'll, it'll, it'll halt you, um, more than you'd expect, and, um, yeah, I think the main thing with trying to gain weight, trying to bulk up, trying to gain strength is all, it's just, it's just about consistency, ultimately, you can have, like, a sick, you can have a sick routine and sick meal plans and shit like that, but ultimately, that the end the the things I would say to see progress because I've I've probably been through like two two points so far in my life where I've tried my best to bulk and then gain strength or both together and the first time I was really like trying to do like these proper meal plans proper diets you know eat eat this much protein eat this much calories per day and go to the gym and do these routines and shit and Versus that versus just trying to eat as fucking as much as possible, like just literally all the all the time, the whole day. I'm just eating, I'm eating, I'm eating, and then just going to the gym and just you know doing doing obviously stuff that targets certain areas. Like I'll do chest and shoulders one day, then I'll do back and arms and triceps, and then I'll do legs, and then I'll have a rest day. That's sort of what I do, and I feel like that you know, and you just do that every so often you rest when you feel tired like if you feel dead you feel sore i would recommend just taking another rest day if you really need to or hit another area if it's if it's if your rest day is done say for example and you're going into hit chest day and let's just say your chest feels sore i'd recommend just doing legs or maybe some other area and then just going in and like you might think you know oh i'm resting for too long like oh, if i stop going for like two days i feel amazing like I've lost all my gains, I've lost all my strength, and that's sort of how you feel, you know, if if you take three or four days off, you might think, like, I'm going to lose everything, but resting is essential, getting, like, a good amount of sleep is really essential, that's something that I would love to implement if I had, like, a a work-at-home sort of job, is just hitting, like, workouts, maybe hit a workout in the morning or in the evening, whenever you do, and just having, like, several rests per day, have like a good i think it's good seven to eight hours sleep is always is always good for anybody pretty much i don't know i don't know if i don't really think you need more than that to be honest unless you're like a giant ginormous person but yeah i think that and if you are able to get like a couple naps in there within the day i think that would be like super beneficial to be honest but yeah i've been i've been making good progress still i think the first time i recorded a video i was like 72 73 kgs and now i'm up to 75 so I've been, I've been making progress, you know, it's, it's a slow journey, I was stuck at around 71 to 73 for like literally a period of maybe four or five months at least, like stuck, just going up and down, up and down, up and down, every week, every day, and you know, that's the sort of stuff that's, that's what really kills people at the end of the day in terms of their journey, in terms of making progress, it's the difference between people who will, like, stay at the point they're at versus people who, like, just become, you know, these these Greek gods you see at the gym. A lot of them, you know, have been through, like, periods of, like, six months where they're not seeing much progress, but they don't, they don't give up. They keep at it. 
and then they come back stronger in the future, which is what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to come back stronger and see that big progress. And, you know, going to the gym, like, I, a lot of people apparently struggle with it, like, just getting up and going, but for me, I love it. I love seeing the progress. I love, I just love lifting. Like, it's just like a primal thing. Like, yeah, fuck yeah, you feel, you feel really good while working out and shit. I think it's the same with martial arts. I think martial arts is, like, super fun. I really want to get into a gym. I'm just, honestly, I'm way too busy with the job I'm working. Monday to Friday, I've only got, like, a few hours spare in my evening. And with the gym and with all the other stuff that I do in my spare time, it's, like, almost impossible. So that's been one of the big focuses I've been going on for the last period. And also just building my um, e-commerce website. I know I talked about it, I think, in the last video that I made talking about how I'm developing this brand and this website and I've been I've been stepping it up you know from books that I've read people say you need to really focus on like things that are important like I have a lot of things to do throughout my day which is includes like reading I, I don't I wouldn't say I meditate every day but I try to meditate off as often as possible and then Duolingo I use Duolingo quite a lot I do Spanish learning also speaking for 20 to 30 minutes each day and you know just there's other activities too that people have, you know, even just having dinner and hanging out with your family, you know, resting up, preparing for the next day. Like there's a lot of, there's a lot of these tasks that you need to, and then you need to sort of prioritize like, okay, I've got an hour and a half left. I should probably be working on my website if I've only got that much time, you know, I might squeeze in 20 minutes of Duolingo and then do the rest of my website. But you really need to, you need to order your tasks in terms of, how important they are and how important these are towards your future there's certain things that you need to like that's why i like duolingo for example for spanish learning you need to keep that activity that that consistency so i will always try and cram that into my day as much as possible but ultimately i'm not going to spend an hour doing it every day because i've got my website to focus on which is what i spend a large amount of time in the weekend like focusing on to it's honestly tough like it's harder than you think just sitting down and like doing the work i'm sure anybody anybody who's watching this could understand that just it's really hard to just sit down and do the work but um you know that's just what you're gonna do and i just realized i didn't put my bloody microphone in i took it out to fucking oh my god this audio is gonna sound like crap now but oh well i'm recording another video this week i can't be bothered stopping this just to chucking the microphone there's probably not going to be many people watching this anyway it's just for me to look into the to look back and reflect on see how my progress is going but um yeah my website i've been focusing on that a lot building my brand you know designing i'm i'm just learning pretty much still just learning i built i've designed my website i've i've got sort of a logo but i'm probably going to change it you know, I'm not going to fluff around for too much longer before I properly launch and start making ads and stuff. But, you know, it's a lot It's a lot more work than people think. People think that you just do a couple hours, you build this, like, shitty website, you know, or just chuck ads and get some sales. And that's why, ultimately, a lot of people fail. And uh, a lot of these people are the ones who will say, like, all oh, the markets, the market's too, um, it's too saturated, you know. But in reality, I just feel like people people never go that next step in terms of developing and trying to outcompete people. You know, you need to outcompete people. It's a competition at the end of the day. You where everyone's competing for sales. You know, it's a it's a big market though. You know, you can you just need to tap in where you can and you know suck out a little bit of money, a little bit of money, and to you that little bit of money is life changing. And you know, I hope that one day this this video can be used as evidence for people, you know, people young, people my age, people younger, people older, who think like, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna make it, because here I am in my small little room, you know, I've just got my, my desk here, my, my closet, my bed, like, it's, it's a very tiny room, but if I can make it out of this small little room into something much greater by discipline i feel like discipline's the ultimate thing by having a schedule having a routine planning planning ahead planning for things learning keeping an open mind towards learning you know journaling i feel like is a huge
crucial thing in terms of tracking your progress and it just gives you like sort of a mental clarity sit down and reflect on your day what did i could do what did i do good today what did i do bad today what can i improve on how can i do better it's these simple things that slowly build you up and build up that mindset to do better and to cut these little things these little sessions of scrolling on social media you know that eat away at your brain cells and ultimately don't provide anything for you use social media productively social media can be used as an amazing tool to promote your products to promote your brand to build yourself up you know as a person to see better results to do better instead of just mindlessly consuming stuff that you think is going to entertain you but it entertains you for 10 seconds and makes you feel worse in the future but yeah ultimately Man, I just wish I wish I had more time about it in my week. I want to learn so many new skills. I want to learn how to like video edit. I want to learn, you know, web better website design, CSS programming. There's so many things in the world to learn. That I want to learn more languages, even though I'm I'm literally still a beginner, maybe closing in on an intermediate level at Spanish, and I already want to learn more. But you know, you got to finish what you start. You got to keep consistent. You got to do. The work each day and i'm sure over the long term you're going to see results and to anybody if anybody even if one person if you're hearing me say this to you now leave a comment you know get in touch i'm just saying you can you can do what you want to achieve just keep at it day by day all right thanks to anybody listening